What's going on guys, Berserker here, and we are back with episode 5 of FTB. I love that intro, I don't know why. <laughs> so, uh, first thing I want to note is if this doesn't go well, I hope it does, but I got DX Tori working again, which is like the one I really want to use my recording software. Mostly, mostly because I get way better frame rate with it. Uh, so let's just hope this goes well. And, uh, yeah. So last time on FTB... Uh, we went to the nether? No, 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 we made all those machines, that's right. So, yeah, I th that was a pretty interesting episode. It's been about a week and a bit before since my last episode, uh, mostly because my dad went on vacation, and so did my sister, and it was kind of a noisy house. And, you know, I just wanted to spend time with the family and whatnot, so, uh, yeah, I didn't really record anything. So sorry about that. But uh, we did have a live stream before I took my little week hiatus. And we got a bunch of stuff done in that live stream. Uh, for those of you that are new, welcome. And if you want, I have a there's a link down below to my Twitch. And go follow. And it'll let you know next time I'm live streaming. So, uh, what we did during the live stream was this building over here, which I'll explain. And these guys. So... Um, yeah, we got some chickens. Kind of cool. Uh, the reason we had to go get chickens is for this. This is my Thomcraft room. Now, this is just temporary, but, uh, yeah, we did a bunch of Thomcraft off screen. So, we got ourselves some stuff. And if we come over here to our Thomonomicon, uh, you can see that we actually did a whole crap ton of Thom stuff. So,. Uh, yeah, it's still up. It should still be up on my channel or my Twitch channel. So if you want to go check that out, totally go do it. But, you know, if you, I don't know, if you don't like Thomcraft, then don't go check it out. That's main, like one of the main mods I'm playing on, during my live stream. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just do it for single player? Well, I if I'm going to live stream, the only other thing that I would pretty much be able to do while live streaming is go mining. And that's boring. So I want to give live stream some mods and leave single player the rest. So... Live stream mods are, I think, Thomcraft. Uh, we're going to do Twilight Forest on streams. And I think there's one other mod, but I can't think of it. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so. Wait. Okay, so there's three chickens. Okay, so. Let me see if I can remember this. Whoops. I'll, I'll explain what that is in a second. Um, so, we needed feathers for Thomcraft. Because we needed to make some table or something. And there was no chickens around this area. So, during the live stream, we went on a small adventure that lasted about an hour to get chickens. Uh, along the way, we named these three chickens. I think it was Felipe, uh, Eduardo, and uh, Felix? No, no, no. It was Felipe, something, and Felix. If you were in the live stream, let me know. I don't remember the name. <laughs> Georgina. It was Georgina. It was Felipe, Georgina, and Felix. So that's these three chickens. That's why they have their own pen. It's because I love them. They're family now. Uh, and these are their offspring that I'm hoarding. Okay, so let me explain what this little doodad here is. I think it's a transposer. And what it does is it sucks up items around it and dispenses it into these tubes and puts it into the box. So we're collecting eggs right now. So this way... I could put them over in this pen and then kill all these chickens for feathers. So, yeah. That's pretty much kind of what happened over the live stream. We went looking for chickens. We did a bunch of Thomcraft. And, yeah, it was just a fun adventure. So, if you guys enjoy adventure, you know, uh, definitely go check that out. Yeah. Okay, so, in today's episode of FTB, we are going to be uh, mining. But not really mining. We're going to have something mined for us. Mr. Cow, what are you doing? That's a good cow. Okay. So, I believe I said in the last episode, uh, we're going to be playing with turtles. Um, I Off screen, I was playing around trying to make my own turtle code to make it strip mine. Didn't go so hot. I played with it for about, I want to say three hours, and it just, it was, it, I suck at it. So, I just need to keep playing with Lua, which is the turtle code, and uh, just get better at it, and then eventually we'll do some really cool stuff with turtles. So... But, uh, yeah, first, let's, I guess we should probably make a turtle. Let's see here. T -U -R. That is not a U. T 
turtle. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a few different turtles. Uh, the, this turtle right here is this is the basic main turtle. There's a mining turtle, which is what we're going to be make today. A wireless turtle, a wireless mining turtle, which you can use a computer to send code to the turtle. Uh, let's see, a crafty turtle, which crafts stuff, items. A melee turtle, which uh, kills things. It attacks uh, monsters and whatnot. Digging turtle, which use, digs up dirt and gravel and whatnot. Mining turtle again. Fleeing turtle, felling, felling, felling turtle. Uh, chops down wood and a farming turtle farms. So, uh, but today we're going to be making the mining turtle, but to first we need to make a turtle. So we need some iron, a chest, and a computer. Okay, so we need some smooth stone, some redstone, and some glass. Huh. Okay, so as you can tell, I, <laughs> I didn't really prep for this episode. I really, just because I went on the week hiatus, I kind of just wanted to get an episode out to you guys. So uh, we're just going to be looking for the items. Now, I have a bunch of glass somewhere, but I don't know where I left it. Um, I th Over here? I remember I was making a bunch of glass. Uh, maybe not over here. Is it in my digger's back? No. Really? What happened to all my... Hmm. It's around here somewhere. Trust me. Here? No. Um, I, I don't know what I did with my glass. I really don't. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Uh, it's not my canvas bag. Not in here. Where did my glass go? Hmm. Is it... Did I... Was I smelting it? No. That's very weird. I don't know what happened to all my glass. Okay, I will be right back as soon as I have some glass and all the stuff we need to make the computer and the turtle. So, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, uh, my glass was over in the Thomcraft room. I don't know why it was there. But, uh, yeah, that's where it was. Okay, so we have everything we need. I'm actually going to turn this music down just a bit. I started turning music back on. I forgot how good it was. <laughs> okay, so I believe the recipe was something like this. So stone, and then a piece of glass pane, and a single piece of redstone? Yes, okay, that makes a computer. Computers are pretty cool. Um, I really, I don't want to say stuff because I really don't know too much about them, but, uh, what you can do is you, you can make a code, you can write code and use it in, for your turtles in it. So, like, if you put a wireless receipt or router on it, you can actually send code to your turtle. I don't know how to do that because I'm still a scrub with turtles and stuff. So, uh, we, if I get good at, uh, Lua and all that, I will, we'll make a computer room specifically for computer stuff and I can teach you some stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so then it's a computer, iron, like so, like stone, and a chest. And that makes us a turtle. Um, turtles are really cool. And it's already nighttime. Fantastic. Take a sip of tea while we wait. Okay, so. Let's see here. So, turtles are pretty cool. Uh, but mining turtles and melee turtles are a lot better and... Uh, just because turtles, like right now, uh, if we go, I believe it's help. Uh, so this is like, it shows us what we can learn from, uh, the turtle. So we can type programs and it'll t tell us all the programs that a turtle can run. Uh, help program will teach us about that specific program. Uh, help programming will help us learn about programming. I'm just reading off what it says pretty much, but... Uh, help what's new, find out what's new features, credits, and index to see all help. So press any key. Help on all topics. So turtles are kind of cool. So let's see here. What kind of programs does a regular turtle have? So help. Uh, actually, you know what? We just need to type programs first. Programs. Okay, so this is all a turtle, just a basic turtle can do. So... Uh, a lot of these I don't know. Like I said, I'm still new with turtles, but uh, turtles are pretty awesome. So I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so one of the major things that we're going to be using today is the refuel program. So 
Uh, I'll show you this in a little bit. And I think that's pretty much is what we're going like the main thing today we're going to be using is the refuel and excavate but to excavate we need the mining turtle so let's go get ourselves a mining turtle really quick and these guys just can be broken with the pickaxe and whatnot so we should probably recharge our drill let's go do that really quick while we make the mining turtle okay so um mining turtles and melee turtles all the turtles all these extra turtles as you can see, they have a sword, diamond swords, so they kind of require diamond swords, but I believe if we go like this, uh, I thought that they could use ruby swords, possibly. Maybe that's an updated version of computer craft or something like that, but I think that like you can actually use different pickaxes and different swords, but... We're going to be using a diamond sword or a diamond pickaxe today to make a mining turtle. So let's see here. We need three diamonds. So these guys can be a little expensive, but if you think about it, okay, so compare. So most people compare turtle mining turtles to quarries. So let's see here. Quarry. I think this is it right here. Um, a quarry. It does the same thing as a turtle, except for the fact that it pumps it out. So it's a little bit quicker in the pumping out section, but. This thing is expensive. An iron gear, four pieces of iron. And you need three of those guys. So that's, just, what, a lot of iron. <laughs> uh, some gold, which requires an iron gear. And the big daddy diamond gear, which requires four diamonds per. So that's eight diamonds for these two gears, plus three more diamonds. So a uh, quarry is quite expensive. It does have its features that are really quite neat, which we will make a quarry in the future. But as of right now, we don't have enough diamonds. But, uh, yeah, so, let's see here, we need to, oh, we don't have any sticks, ooh, that's cool, diamonds have a lot of, uh, mistcraft, not mistcraft, uh, thomcraft stuff on them, I don't know why you'd waste a diamond though, okay, so diamond pickaxe, so the way we make a mining turtle is you just toss a turtle, the pickaxe, and it makes a mining turtle, very cool, so, what we can do actually you know what okay so there's another thing i wanted to do today i'm all over the place i'm sorry i'm sorry but uh you know i could place this mining turtle down and you know i could have it go ham like right here and dig a quarry and go straight down to bedrock i don't want to ruin my world i really don't i like my world the way it is and i want to keep it as clean as i can so what we're going to do is we're going to make a digging world or a mining world and the way we're going to do that is with uh, Mistcraft. So, we need a few things from Mistcraft. Um, let's see here. I know I have it around here somewhere. Uh, this thing, a writing desk, okay. We need one of those guys, which I found this in the village over there. So, uh, I can show you how to make it really quick. Not too bad. Some wood, a feather, and a glass bottle. So, that's pretty easy. We also need a, let's see here, we need a, let's type in, I think it's a book binder? Yeah, this guy right here. Book binder. So this guy's not too bad either, just some wood and some iron. So let's make one of those guys really quick. Uh, let's see here, get some more iron. And let's get some wood. Okay. So if I was going to be efficient, I should actually have cut this down with my uh, logger, or my wood thing in the, the wood mill in uh, my other room but you know just for sake of time we're just going to break it down to four so okay a book binder so we need one of those guys and let's see here we need um i believe we need a linking book and a descriptive book so these guys aren't too bad a linking book you have to have a linking book i'll explain all this in just a minute but so that's not too bad it's just a book so let's see here uh book we'll actually make that in a minute and then we want a descriptive book how do we make a descriptive book is it how? hmm okay so we need to make actually we do need to make a notebook then i think so three pieces of leather that's not too hard um i have not played with too much of this i played with it a little bit last night just so i know like the basics of miscraft but i don't know my way around all of this so uh, don't hate me if I do something wrong. It's it's a newish mod to me. 
uh, it was pretty simple back in the day. Like, all they had was, like, a descriptive book and a linking book, and you just went off. And But now they have, like, this whole writing desk, and it's super complicated and awesome. <sighs> okay, so, um, I think I'll make a room for this, but we'll make it later. I'll make it uh, some other point in time. So, this is a writing desk. Looks kind of confusing, huh? <sighs> okay, so... We actually need to go get us, get us a bottle. Okay, well that's pretty simple. I believe I have a bottle around here somewhere. And if not, we can make ourselves one. Uh, let's go check the Thomcraft room. I remember I was using some in there. But, you know, I might not have any. Bottles? Uh, yes, I do have a bottle. Sweet. Okay, we only need the one. And I don't see anything else we need in here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we come in here, and I believe I have what we need. We need an ink sack, or two ink sacks, I believe. Um, is it just the one ink sack? I think it's two, sadly. Yeah, it's two. Okay, so we need two ink sacks, and that'll make us a vial of ink, I believe is what it is. So I'm going to go get us another ink sack really quick, and I'll be right back, and when I come back, we should be able to get going to a Mistcraft world. So... I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I got myself 12 ink sacks. I found, like, four squid just beat the crap out of them. Uh, okay, so we should have everything we need. I believe it's a single ink vial, or a single uh, glass bottle, and it's not two ink sacks. Weird. Okay, well, I was mistaken. Maybe it's three. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Ink. Uh, let's see here. It's right here. Ink vial. Oh, it's a water bottle. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. Like I said, I haven't played with this too much, so don't hate me. Don't. Don't. You can if you want, like I said. Prefer you not, though. We're, it's a learning. It's learning. We're all learning here, because I bet you guys didn't know. Okay, I bet you didn't know it was a water thing, but water bottle. Okay, so water and two ink sacks. Perfect. Ink vial. We're actually going to sleep really quick. We're hopefully going to be able to sleep really quick. There we go. Take some more tea really quick while we wait. Okay. So, over here. <clears throat> Come over to our writing desk. So, the reason we made this was because we need to stick this ink into this buffer. So, we just drop that in there. And it fills up our table with ink. Very cool. Um, we don't necessarily need to fill this up right now but i wanted to fill it up just so this way you guys knew about it uh what this allows us to do is when uh we fill up one of our books our notebooks with pages because we can get miscraft pages uh it allows us to copy them and use them but we don't have any right now so what we need to do is we need to go and place our binder down and we're just going to place this guy down like right here why not so, what we need to do, I believe, is get ourselves a piece of paper, I believe. Here, let me look it up really quick. Um, I believe it's called, a, I think it's just page, right? Page. Blank page. How do we get ourselves a blank page? Well, let's find out. Uh, I believe we need some leather. And some paper. I believe I had paper laying around, but I guess not. Okay, um, let's see here. We'll take out our books, and we'll take out some of this reed that we have laying around. And we'll just make ourselves some paper. That should be good. Put this away. Okay. So, is it... Not like that. Okay, so, I believe we come over here to the binder... Like I said, I'm learning. Please don't hate me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I think it's leather and paper? No. Leather and not that. How did I get a page of paper? Um, maybe it was something... Okay, guys, I'm going to go learn this really quick. Please don't hate me. Uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it was seriously two seconds after I ended the recording. 
all you have to do is place a piece of paper in here and it adds a page to the book. So we're going to add these three pages to this book and we're just going to make ourselves a descriptive book. Uh, so we just grab the descriptive book and uh, if we click on this, it'll send us to a another world. We don't want to do that just yet. So as you can see, if we toss in our descriptive book in here, uh, we can rename it, which we don't want to do just yet. Or we could come over here, and if we had proper pages of Miscraft, uh, we would we can use different symbols, and it would we can make our own world essentially. But since we're using three blank pages, we we don't have that ability yet. So um, the other thing I was gonna make, like I said, was a descriptive book, and a descriptive book is what essentially allows you to return to this world. If you don't have a descriptive book and go to a Miscraft world, you're stuck until you can make a until you can find a, yourself a starfisher. And starfishers are really rare and uh, they're the only way if you get stuck in a Miscraft world to return to this world. So you always, always, always have to have a descriptive book on you. If you don't, I, I don't know. Unless you somehow cheat, which I don't even know if you can, uh, you have to find yourself a... Uh, a starfisher so always make sure you have descriptive books so I'm actually gonna bring a couple with me I'm gonna bring like three or four so uh, just what you need to remember is if wherever you make your descriptive book or your sorry your linking book I've been calling a descriptive book wherever you make your linking book that is where you're gonna spawn when you come back to the world so uh, we probably want to return eh, right here's fine so we'll just make ourselves some linking books. They don't stack, but that's not a big problem. So let's go put away everything we don't need as of right now into our chest. And let's go check out this world that we made. Uh, let's see here. So we don't need paper, this, 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 um, this. We're just going to toss everything we don't need right now. Uh, we don't need this leather. We do need the descriptive book. We don't need the notebook right now. Uh, we do want to keep the mining turtle on us. And uh, we can put this oak wood away. So I think we are good now. Uh, we got our linking books. And we've got our descriptive book. Okay. And you know what? We'll bring a little bit of coal with us. And yeah, that should be good. Okay, so let's head on over to uh this world so one thing to remember is when you go to the world your book falls on the ground now <clears throat> there's a way to prevent that it's not bad it's just it looks really not good so we can make a uh, i believe it's a book stand right here book stand two sticks a piece of wood that's fairly simple let's actually go make one of those really quick just because we don't want books laying around on the floor you can always pick them back up and put a book put it on a book stand later but I mean, why not just do it now while we're here? So, let's see, where did we put that wood? Okay, three pieces of wood. So sticks and a piece of wood, and I believe it was this and this, and this guy right there. Oops, right there, book stand. So, like I said, this is not mandatory. It just makes it look better. So personal preference, I guess. If you don't mind books laying on the ground, uh, that's your choice, but I don't want my book laying on the ground. So all you have to do is place the book stand down and right click the book onto the stand and there it goes. So now all we have to do is right click and click on the black square. So just make sure you have your linking book. Uh, okay. And let us go to this new age. Okay. Cool. Oh, ooh. Okay, so... As you can see, we have a debuff because our world is unstable. Now, that's not good. That's actually really bad. Uh, hunger is honestly one of the better debuffs, but uh, it's, you know, you just... A debuff just means your world is unstable and you don't really want to have an unstable world. Well, seeing that we don't have any miscraft pages yet, uh, we're going to have to kind of deal with an unstable world and lightning, which is kind of annoying, but... Oh my god, okay, so, um, yeah, <clears throat> it's fine for now, uh, Hunger, honestly, like I said, is one of the better debuffs, there's Nausea, which is awful, if you know what Nausea is, it's the one where it makes your screen all 
go crazy and shit. Just, it's just bad. It's just bad. So, like I said, it's not the worst one. And with the world being unstable, you don't want that. But for just, you know, testing purposes as of right now, we're going to keep it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's clean out a little bit of land. And we're going to play with the turtle. So the reason we made a miscraft world is for mining. Like I said, I don't want to make my world look all gross and nasty. <clears throat> so, yeah. Now, I did forget something, which is not good. But... It's not that big of a deal. Um, we can just return. So, okay. So, the good thing about uh, linking books is it'll take you back for one, and it'll stay in that world. So it fell on the ground. Well, like I said, we don't want books laying on the ground, but uh, we can make a book stand for it. So yeah. So let's make ourselves a book stand and a chest. So let's see here. We need some more wood. I'm going to wood like a crazy man. That came out sounding really gross, but just go with it. So, uh, go like this, this, and this. Okay. So we got ourselves a book stand, and I want to make a chest. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's, uh... And that'll be fine. That'll be fine for now. <clears throat> so, let's us uh, go on our way to the... Uh, the age. So just, you know, just making sure in case for some whatever reason that book is gone, always have an extra backup. So, like I said, uh, the book is here. All you have to do is pick up the book and pull the book out of there and it allows you to pick it back up. So we want to go like this and place our linking book back on there. Cool. Okay, so, Mining Turtle. Cool little guy. I like him. He's awesome. So... We're just gonna we're gonna place them right here, right next to our base, just so we don't have to walk too far. And I'm also going to place a chest right there. Ooh, okay, let's get out our food so we don't start dying. Okay, so this guy is pretty cool. Um, all we pretty much have to do is so let's actually go like this programs. So like I said, we're going to be using the refuel and the excavate today. Um, a lot of this other stuff is really cool, like dance, but I, you know, we, we, we don't need to play with that right now. We can play with that later when I actually know what I'm doing with turtles. So, uh, let's go like this. So, this guy right now has no fuel, so we can actually go, uh, I think it's, let's go Lua. And I think it's turtle dot show fuel fuel level uh, it doesn't have any I don't believe unless I use the wrong command so what we need to do is put in some coal um, lava buckets work too which are actually preferred because you know you get more uh, usage out of lava but for now we're just gonna use coal so I think if we just go turtle T R T L E dot refuel and it took it, and yeah. Um, I th there is a way to check the fuel level, but uh, I'm doing the wrong command, and I don't really want to look it up. So now our turtle has fuel, and he can he can move now, essentially. So what we need to do is... I what we want to do is go uh, exit. So that exits Lua, and then clear. So that clears the screen, and then we want to rerun programs. This is not necessary, but we're, now we're going to run the excavate. So we just type in, I believe, excavate. Oops. Excavate, and then the size of the excavation you want it to be. So we're going to go with, um, I don't know, let's go with a five, five by five excavating. So now it's going to go five out. So it's doing one, two, three, four. So it's going, oh, oh God, we're hungry. Okay, so as you can see, he went five out this way and five out this way. And now he's going to excavate this area all the way down into bedrock. Now, we could have made this a lot bigger. We could have made it 64 by 64. Well, 
Um, every time he moves and breaks a block, he uses a fuel, and we only give him half a stack of fuel. So, for right now, 5x5 five five is perfect. So, like, over here next time, or whatever, over here, we can make it 64x64. 64 64. Now, the cool thing about the mining turtle is this, that when, see, like, he picks up the blocks, which is, which is cool by itself, but as soon as his inventory is full, he will come back up here and put every item into the chest and then continue going. If he comes across a coal, he'll keep it in his inventory. If he runs out, I believe he'll refuel himself, which is quite cool. Kind of, uh, you know, if you want to get coal, it's kind of bad, but in the end, if he comes back up with more coal than he used, he'll keep it as fuel, and all you have to do is move him over to the next spot and just make the spot bigger. So, very cool. One thing to remember, though, uh, don't break your turtle if you gave him a bunch of fuel, because as soon as you break him, that fuel level is actually going to disappear. He won't have the fuel anymore. So just keep that in mind. Because uh, you don't want to waste... If you put like 10 buckets of lava, you don't want to waste that by breaking him and moving him. You can actually use um, the Lua and do turtle dot turn left. And that'll... Like if he's facing this way, I'll turn him this way. And you just say turtle dot forward and it'll move him forward one. And they just say forward, forward, forward. And then turn right. And then you can excavate this area. So just a little bit of turtle code for you you guys if you don't know how to use a turtle, which you probably do. They're quite nifty. If you don't know how to use them, um, go check out Direwolf20. I'm using his pack. He's an amazing YouTuber. He plays with all the mods in his mod pack. He's a great teacher. That's where I've been learning all of these mods pretty much. And you, you just need to go check him out. He, he teaches you some turtle. He actually has um, some computer craft tutorials, and that's is where I've been learning my, my turtles and stuff, so... Definitely go give that a watch. Now, uh, oh, one thing that could be a problem is the fact that we have to be in this world for him to to dig. Um, now, the way to fix that would be to make a world um, anchor or a chunk loader. So let's check out world, which I don't know which one's cheaper. Uh, let's see here. World anchor. Um, this guy's kind of expensive, but, and he also takes ender pearls, which, uh, I mean, we don't really need, but we only need the one chunk. C, H, C, H, chunk loader. Okay, how much does this guy cost? Um, an enchantment table, an ender pearl, and some gold. Hmm. Uh, I th think this guy actually has a smaller version of him. I think it's called a mini chunk loader? Um, uh, how about load? Yeah, right here. Mini chunk loader. Or spot loader, that's my bad. Uh, oh, so it just it actually takes a chunk load. Uh, okay, so we actually, let's go make ourselves a chunk loader. Because, like I said, if we leave this area and we're not in it, he's not going to move. Because this chunk isn't loaded. So, uh, let's go make ourselves a chunk loader and we'll toss it down really quick. Oh, fell in the hole again. Okay, so I'll be right back as soon as I have the stuff to make a chunk loader. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, I had to run down the stairs and get some obsidian. I used the block breaker. Like I said, I don't want to make a pickaxe. And, yeah, so let's make ourselves an enchanting table. Where's all of our books? There they are. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, an enchanting table is like so. It's like that, 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 and obsidian. Very cool. Okay. And... The recipe called for an ender pearl. Well, I don't have any ender pearls. Well, there's a cool thing with EE3. Um, it's called, well, we can actually make ender pearls. Okay, well, how do we get a minium stone? Well, a minium stone is shards of minium and an inert stone. So let's make ourselves an inert stone. So we need some iron, some gold, and some smooth stone. Okay, not too bad. So some smooth stone. Iron. And a piece of gold. Okay, well, an inert stone doesn't do anything. Well, if we take these minium shards of minium, which you get from killing monsters, and put them around a minium stone, we get ourselves a cool little toy called a minium stone. Um, this is similar to the philosopher stone in EE2, except it has usage. So we can actually let's go out here. Uh, we can actually use this, if you remember, to change items to different items. So, right now, as you can see, it says if, if it says sand in the bottom right corner. If we right-click, it turns it into sand. 
pretty cool. Now, there is a way to return it to its normal state, but I'm not entirely certain. I've never played the Minium Stone, Minium Stone so um, we're mostly going to be using it for its crafting table, which is quite cool. You have a portable crafting table now if you press C on the Minium Stone. And if uh, you can actually use it to transmute some items into other items. So, uh, for example, we can actually go Minium Stone and I believe a piece of gold and it turns it into 8 iron. That's awesome. Well, we need to make ourselves a Ender Pearl. And if you saw from the recipe, it is four pieces of iron. That's not too bad for an, end, for an Ender Pearl. So let's see here. We go like this. And Minium Stone. As you can see, it took a little bit of durability to make this item. So um, just keep your eyes on that because this thing can go kind of quick if you overuse it. So we got ourselves an Ender Pearl. Cool. Get ourselves some gold and an enchanting table and now we have a chunk loader very cool so kind of an expensive little toy but what it allows us to do is it'll let the uh, turtle we have over here run while we're not there um, another thing seeing how I'm running server side uh, my server runs pretty much the entire time uh, that could be a, so look he's out of he's out of fuel um, that could be kind of a problem because, you know, you don't want to leave a bunch of chunk loaders on the entire time, especially if they're doing, like, absurd things. Well, what the? Mining Fatigue 3. That's new. Okay. Cool. Uh, so let's get ourselves a bucket of lava. And, like I said, we can actually give this guy lava. So let's go like this. And, uh... I believe we have to go Lua. Actually, you know what? I think we could just type in re fuel. Fuel level is now 3,000. So, he should. Oh, we have to start up the excavation program again. Um, so, let's actually, you know what? While we're here, I'm going to give him a couple buckets of lava and I'm going to start him back up and then we'll play with the chunk loader. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, the reason my turtle stopped working, it wasn't because it was out of fuel, actually. It was because I left the world. And uh, the, tur the code stopped. So um, the only way I knew how to get him to start it back up again is uh, do excavate up here again. Um, I probably could have done it right down there. But, you know, then it wouldn't have access to this chest. Um, so I just kind of had to run excavate 5 again. So I like I said, I'm not, I'm not super proficient with turtles, so don't hate me. But uh, I gave him some buckets of lava. Pretty cool. Um, he's running the excavate code again, but... This time we're going to leave him chunk loaded. So let's see here. Let's place this chunk loader right about here. Okay, so this guy has a neat little interface. Um, the main thing, the main cool thing I really like about this is the show lasers. Now watch this. Boom. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? So right now, these lasers, wherever they're showing, is the chunks that are being loaded. Well, we don't need this many chunks to be loaded, to tell you the truth. So, I'm just going to drop it down to one chunk. Um, ooh, as you can see, it kind of cuts off on the corner. Um, so, let's see if we can fix that. Uh, if we, oh, oh, this is the mining fatigue. Oh, we're losing a lot of hunger, too. Mining fatigue. Uh. Wow, that's a, that's an awful freaking debuff. Good thing we're not the one mining and the turtle is. Okay, so I believe if we just move it over, like, here. Should be... It'll probably grab onto the next chunk, but... Uh... Oh, dang. These chunks are, like, really far in between. Well, that's no good. It's loading a bunch of chunks we really don't need it to. Let's drop it down to one chunk, and... Yeah, see, as you can see, this chunk right here is not proficient enough. Um, so, you know, instead of having to, uh, deal with this mining fatigue again, we'll just leave it at two chunks. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, you don't want to load unnecessary chunks. It's just, it's not optimal. So, we can now leave this world, and this guy will keep doing what he's doing. And when his inventory's full, he'll come up to this chest and drop it off. Very neat. So, let's go back over to the overworld. <clears throat> um, 
I th oh yeah. See, here's another problem with uh, placing this over here. Uh, we just need to light this area up a bit, and you know, actually place a house around this uh, uh, mistcraft stuff. But I think for now, this is a good setup. Uh, we can always make more ages later, and you know, I actually want to make an age that's stable, and uh, we when we actually get the mistcraft pages we need. So. There'll be more miscraft in the future. I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of it on live streams. Just because um, finding miscraft pages is kind of a pain in the butt. Because you could find like temples in miscraft, the miscraft worlds that uh, have the pages. Or we could go over to that village over there and there's a guy that sells them for like emeralds. Which kind of sucks too. So I don't know. We'll figure out something for miscraft pages. But um, I think that's a good wrapping up point for this episode because... We did a bunch of miscraft. We got to play with a little bit of EE3 with the Minium Stone. And we got to play with Turtles. Like I said, I'm sorry. I don't know a whole lot about Turtles. I'm probably an awful teacher. And you probably didn't learn anything this whole episode. But, uh, you know, if you did, cool. Leave a, leave a like and say you learned something. L tell me something in the comment section that you didn't know before that you learned today. And if you can, that'd be awesome. Oh, some of our chickens have grown up. Oh, yeah, and the reason the stone is here is so that I can spam eggs and not hurt the chickens. But, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, like I said, don't forget to leave a rating. And, as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh, no, is there a baby chicken in there? There isn't. Okay, good. See yous.